How is tissue paper manufactured? The leftover writing paper is used because its short, flexible fibers produce soft textures. Insert the baled paper, which weighs half a ton, into a giant pulp-making machine. The paper is divided into fibers and mixed with water called pulp. After that, the pulp is injected with air to separate the ink from the remaining paper. After that, a pressure machine is inserted, which is a large cylinder. After that, the coil breaks down the pulp and turns it into a fabric that resembles cotton. After that, it is rinsed with water. In this way, it will be ready to have paper towels left. After that, it passes through rollers that squeeze the water from it. It is condensed through a filter inside it. It is then passed through a hot air dryer. It comes out of the machine in the form of a thin sheet 10 feet wide. It then passes through a large reel to be assembled. Then he inserts the roller onto a knife and slowly cuts it. After that, two rollers meet to cut the layers of tissue between them with knives, for the papers to enter the mechanism that folds the napkins in half. You will then collect a pile of tissues. Then they are divided into small groups. The cutting is done with knives, small groups for other smaller groups. In this way, it becomes the last stage in the manufacture of paper tissues, after which the tissues are packed into boxes and delivered to our homes. If you liked the clip, like and follow.